The raid of Nathan chasing horses home was the culmination of a months long investigation from federal, local and tribal officials. While he is behind bars right now, experts like psychiatrist Timothy Jader say it's easier than you may think to fall into a cult mentality. The red heart on this front door now has a darker meaning for many after the home owned by Nathan Chasing Horse was raided by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Police now say Chasing Horse abused his power and spiritual influence as a medicine man to groom indigenous girls and women for sex, all under what they described as a cult called the circle in this arrest report. I can't think of anybody I know who hasn't been sexually assaulted. Nijanae Widehat yeah. says native women and girls are frequently targeted as victims of sexual assault, but largely from people outside of the tribes. She says the fact chasing horse is accused of using a culture that's been systematically erased for centuries to exploit his own people makes it worse. I'll never get to do certain dances or know how to wear these things. These things that should be mine are gone. And this guy is using that as a way to keep people to to trap them to steal them and his own people even which is it's just it's a heinous crime psychiatrist timothy jader says that's normally how cults work they use a commonly accepted practice but then start shifting that focus towards themselves where they become the central figure as opposed to whatever the central figure was in the original practice. Jader says isolated individuals, like one victim cited in the arrest report, are more vulnerable. The report states the girl was seen as an outsider by tribal members because of her mixed appearance, and a cult leader feeds on that otherness. They pull them into the group, make them feel very special, and then they start exploiting their isolation and they make them more isolated, more dependent on the group. For anyone watching this who may be at risk of falling into a cult, Jader has a message. You're not alone, so don't forget that. Don't believe the lie. Reach out to anybody for help. Now, police say that they have confirmed three of Chasing Horses victims are here in Clark County, but they believe more will come forward as more details come out. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey.